Okay, friends, welcome back to Sheep Creek Lodge for our fifth place finisher. We're, we're all here gathered waiting. You can see everybody behind me right now. Uh, the lights indicate that you're just past the finish. And the finish is, in fact, I'm standing on right now. So uh, we're waiting for 100 to come in. We started the feed up a little bit early so you can share it with your friends, get people watching. I know that Hunter has family out there that wants to see him finish. So I'll go ahead and turn the camera around, folks. It's warming up about three, four degrees. There's everybody with the finish. We are all patiently waiting. You can see the last two trail markers are right there. So Hunter is on the way. He's less than a few minutes away. That's what those trail markers look like. And the trail is right here. So his team will come right past that shed and right here. And that's what the Willow 300 trail markers have looked like. He'll come in fifth place, running dogs out of the Ramey Barber Reddington Kennel. They've been married 40 years and have been breeding and running sled dogs the whole time. So Hunter Keefe about to come around that corner here soon, just like the first place team Will Rhodes, and then second place team Nick Petit, third place team Riley Dyche, and fourth place team Jeff King, who came in not too long ago looking good. So there's where we're looking for the team to come around. Here's all of our race officials and folks taking care of business. Lots of familiar faces here. Barbara and Ramey waiting for their dogs to come in. Hunter works for the Reddingtons in Kinnick and runs their great line of trail hardened dogs. So there we go, there's the lodge turning around here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get in final position. Can't be too much longer. There's the sunshine this morning. Sun rose about 10 a.m. We had northern lights uh, this morning about, oh, well, all throughout the early morning. Um, and just a beautiful set of conditions, except for we did have those moose in the trail. So you're joining us now for the fifth team to come in. Turn up that volume. Let your dogs hear. We keep it family friendly. And right around the corner is going to be Hunter Keefe and beautiful Alaskan Huskies from the Ramey and Barbara Reddington Kennel in Kinnick. Those are lines that have been mixed with some Jeff King dogs, Raptor and different uh, bison and, and Raptor and different dogs over the years. So you'll see the beautiful brown, really wonderful brown coats. And um, Jeff just came through with lots of black coats. And of course, Jim and Lear has all the white dogs. So different kennels take on different looks um, over the time. And we're really excited for them to come in. So our race officials are all right here ready. Right at that stake is the finish line. Our photographers are all ready. Uh, all of our other folks, support folks, and other mushers and handlers are all ready. And there's Nick Petit, our second place finisher. He's all ready. And Will and Barbara are probably with their dogs. They're not here right now, but Will Rhodes did win. The Willow 300 this year, he had a come from behind, come from third place victory this morning. His team poured on the speed, folks, so there's some great places you can kind of watch the replay of how the trackers moved um, that have been shared to the cop uh, to the willow 300 um, official page for 2022 so go and check those out you can see how will Rhodes was in third place this morning after leaving forks roadhouse and just poured on the speed he passed riley and he passed nick Petit. Uh riley described him as running at speeds similar to an open class team which is an exaggeration of course open class teams can run 18 plus miles an hour uh, but he was probably running 13 to 14 miles an hour there for a while. So he had a really impressive burst of late race speed, and that brought him his first first place. There's your sunshine as we wait for Hunter to come around the corner. Beautiful Alaska sunshine here. Days are getting longer. Sun rising about 10 a.m. We're getting a little more light every day, which really adds up for us. Again, here's your race folks talking, getting ready to record times, check gear. We have Travis and Travis Spiegel, Sarah Stokey here. We have Jesse here, Ramey, they're all talking. Other handlers. It's really just a really cool little group here waiting on Hunter. Everybody's celebrating his success. Fifth place team, top five for the Willow 300. Pretty impressive, so 
light is just beautiful today. Just beautiful. Jeff King did finish with 12 dogs, by the way. Just phenomenal. So go back and check that out. This morning we had all three top teams on the same feed. So it's a long feed. Uh, but down the road, you can listen to that. Anytime you want to come back to Alaska and be here, you'll be able to turn that on and hear 30, 40 minutes of teams coming in. And it's really nice. Uh, the archive... It's fun to watch slow dog races anytime for me. I like to turn them on at home and just listen. My dogs like to listen. See what the climate's like in that area. And here we are, 100% humidity. Beautiful, beautiful day here. But I've got about two or three inches of snow overnight. And then, as you'll recall, last week we were in the 40s. So last week we had a huge warm up that delayed the race that caused all sorts of problems. That's why we did not have a mass start this year on Willow Lake was because of the overflow. Delightful. And so I've been um, trying to hide from you, Aaron Keefe is nothing. watching. <laughs> Aaron, we got this started early for folks like you. So welcome to the waiting game. This is part of mushing. We, we know the team's right around the corner. We know they're coming down this trail. We know that they're here any second. And so we're all just patiently waiting for that moment together. Dogs. And there's that call. You heard it. Dog team. Take it all in, folks. Barbara calling in her dog. Ten dogs looking great. There's the hook going in. Hunter's hook is in. He's going to get his chance to sign everything. So he's checking in all his required gear. He's got to show cooker, dog food, sleeping bag, axe, snowshoes. This is part of getting checked in here. And then the dogs look at these beauties. Let's get around him here so you can see them all. They're already all wrapped around the corner. Yeah, that's the young one. And they're talking about, what's his name, Ramy? The young one. <laughs> Piston. Hi, Piston. There's, there's Piston back there. Hi, guys. How are you feeling? Was that fun? How oh, was that fun? Look at that. Always that sweet moment. Nick congratulating. Nice little congratulations there by Nick Petit, our second place finisher. There's that moment. You can hear the photography behind me capturing the the moment. 285 completed miles. That's a full finish for Hunter Keith and the Reddington dogs. Yeah, look at you guys. Look great. Look at you guys. Yeah, was that a nice run? Is that a nice run? He says, let's get to the Yep, they know all their snacks and all their good stuff. We'll not be waiting here for them. It'll be waiting a couple hundred yards away at the truck. Big, beautiful dogs. Got their booties on. Looking good. There's Whip right there on the left. And this whole team is going to wrap around the snowbank. So here's Barbara. Right on. Congratulations, Hunter, his family. And he will read this like a journal, like a scrapbook. So leave all your comments here and they'll come back and get them. Here we go. Got to keep that nice wide turn there. Hunter's looking back. What'd you forget? Uh, Ramey. <laughs> he forgot Ramey. There we go.
Okay, we'll do the smart thing this time. I've been chasing teams every time out, folks. Try to give you a little bit more of the true behind the scenes view as if you were here. So rather than chasing the team around the long loop, let's come here to where Barbara and Jesse are going to meet the dogs when they come around the long loop. And then we'll be here. <laughs> Instead of, so this is what the Parks Highway looks like, folks. For those of you who have not been to Alaska, Parks Highway runs Anchorage North past Wasilla up to Willow, Caswell, Talkeetna, Trapper Creek, and then up towards Healy, Cantwell, Denali, and all the rest. So there it is right there. And the dog team... Are they coming around? Are they going to the green stuff, Jess? Green truck. Okay, so we should see the dog team coming around here to park. Right there soon, or there somewhere anyway. They're coming around. There goes Barbara driving by. This is to help you answer the question. So what happens to the dog team after they finish and it's not a checkpoint? Well, they need to get to their dog truck and there's the team right there. Ha ha. Look at Jesse putting on the haul, moving. Okay, so that answers your question, folks. If you're wondering where Hunter Keefe ends up with the dog team it just crosses, you end up back at your dog truck. The dogs know this is home. Your support uh, crew is there. In this case, a whole bunch. Hunters got a lot of family and friends here. I love them. And check it out. So then looking back, there is Sheep Creek Lodge in all of its glory with the Alaska sunshine as our checkpoint along the highway. So thanks to all the sponsors to Vitus, uh, fueling up there in Trapper Creek, Forks Roadhouse, Sheep Creek, the Sitting the Landing, Campground Hosts, the Community Center, everybody who allowed mushers and handlers and support staff to be in your facilities and treated so well. Look at signage up. So that's giving you the full 100% view here, folks. <clears throat> we want you to feel like you get it, that you understand how this works all the parts and pieces it takes, all the coordination, all the dedication. Everybody wants to see footage of dogs pulling and running, but this is really, the vast majority of it is just care and feeding and loving and housing and all of it. So there's the Reddington truck. We'll give them space to do their thing. And you bet, folks, the, uh, the goal of the Alaska Dog Center, the goal of this feed is to bring you right there either to a new understanding of dogs and humans, to a new relationship with your dog, a new activity level with your dog, or understanding mushing and all of its intricacies, wherever that is for you, wherever bringing you there means for you. Hopefully you get a little more inspired and get out there with your dogs, walk a little more, give them an extra hike. These guys just did 285 miles beginning yesterday morning, and they're actually trained to take a four to six hour rest and keep going because uh, Diderod's a thousand and you've built some longer rests in there. But when you put it into context, these dogs, uh, they love to do this. They want to exercise. They have all the mitochondria, oxygen carrying capacity and fat protein conversion capability to just fuel forever with rest and water and TLC. So there you go, folks. Fifth place team, Hunter, Keefe, in. You're getting the behind the scenes extended shot of what it's like to finish a race and get back to your dog truck with our friends, the Reddington. There's all these ravens around at dog events and dog places, so I can hear a raven up in the tree behind me. They come and pick all the foods and stuff, but we'll go ahead and give a long shot here and then I'm gonna sign off. I hear you, Raven. <laughs> They're always around. There we go. There's that famous food. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hold on, honey. You got it. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera around because.
microphone's better. Oh. Yeah, you need just to give a little time to your, your fans and family. Tell them real quick okay. about it. Uh, good run. Long, but they had a lot of fun. I like the last two runs the most. But glad to be going home now. <laughs> <laughs> and who out there in lead for your lead so dogs? I have Senior and Kate. She took over on the run before last, and she's been doing really good. Whip led me most of the way as well. Alex. I have three first-time racers. So wow. there's Taz there, Jesse's wow. um, unharnessing Piston, and behind Piston is Tyvek. So it was their first race for th all the dogs I was first race, they all finished, so that was cool. Right and then on. I got Yetna, Ruby, and Seymour. So. They see there, you can see the comments right there. Oh, yeah. There's Nancy saying, out of boy. We had Adam in there earlier. I got a message from Adam this Good morning deal. saying, <laughs> get some camera time. Good so deal. thanks for the camera time. I'll turn yeah. around. Let's watch Hunter work. There's no rest for the weary here. There's always tasks and chores. You got Sarah Stokey and Travis Beals helping out. It's a whole community effort here. Yeah, there's the interview with Hunter. He <laughs> said, how about that for our first race? Good place, huh? Good boy, Piston. He's yeah, a little tiny, Piston. He's the littlest one. Piston, tiny but mighty. Yeah. Right on, Piston. Well done. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. All right, folks. Just a, a view of the mushing life, the Alaska life, the community. Big shout out to all the Bear Grease fans who've tuned in, to the Fenmund fans up in Norway. To fans from all over the world who love sled dogs, welcome. The top five are in for the Willow 300 2022 version. So there you go. Nice little shot here. It's just afternoon, I believe. It's not that late in the day. We're, we're just at that nice... The sun's getting a little bit higher here. So it's great. Oh, you're almost ready to go. You're going to get your own house. <laughs> you can see how the dogs start to feel a little lonely. They're so used to having all their friends. So, all righty, folks. Right on. Tracy Kirkpatrick joining us in Northern Ireland. Appreciate that. Appreciate all y'all. I'm going to go ahead and turn around here and... Uh, I've got to get running down back to the Alaska Dog Center for some work. Uh, we're opening a cafe here in a couple weeks, and then I'm going to try to come back and catch the Barringtons and some folks. Uh, and then I've got to fly at midnight tonight. So thanks, everybody, for all the support. Um, check out YouTube. All these videos will go there in a the playlist, and you can put them all together on smart TV, smart devices, share them with people who don't have Facebook or don't like Facebook. Uh, get these stories out there. Show them the great dogs and people behind it all. And uh, really appreciate you all. So... Um, we'll see you soon. You got to kind of just be ready. You never know when I'm going to go live. It just, it just sort of happens. So thanks so much. Appreciate it all.